Hello, my name is Andrea Dubois, and then I get to talk to you today about a simple assessment tool that can be used in any class at any time. It takes all of about two and a half to three minutes, and it's a good way to not only check the information that your students are gaining as far as factual knowledge and application, but it's also a great check for instructors to see what they're emphasizing in class and what they still may need to cover. What we have done is we've taken and used what's called a semantic diagram and what that is is a physical representation of how our mind puts concepts together. So for instance, I had my class the other day, we were beginning to study intelligence. And so I had them place the word intelligence in the center of a paper, in the piece of paper, like this. And then gave them 60 seconds to come up with as many ideas as they could think of when it comes to intelligence. And here things branched out from science, money, big hair, and so forth. And the way semantic networking works is we don't have any idea how different concepts are going to relate and what's going to trigger what. At the end of the lecture, I had them redo this semantic diagram, again using intelligence in the center. And this particular individual then used everything that I lectured on that was in the class. It was actual content and not just information that they were coming up freehand. So, for instance, the first one they did at the beginning of class without the lecture, they had eight different what are called nodes, and those are the little circles beside the center word. And two of them had some kind of application to what intelligence is. At the end then, after the lecture, the student had five and had f all five nodes then were actually information that they gained from the class. So that was a quick way for me to assess what they had gained in class and then also a quick way for me to assess what information I covered or stress that stuck with the student. So to introduce this to your class, what we used was simply the word food in the middle of our, our blackboard to get things started. So I asked the students of the class, what's the first thing you think of when you think of food? Pizza. All right. Chinese food. Burger. Hot dogs. What else? You spelled Chinese wrong. Candy, okay. Cake. Okay, so candy, you, you thought of cake immediately? Okay. So do you kind of see then class, how the word food can trigger all of these different thoughts? Alrighty. What we'll do then so that it's applicable for our purposes is use the word, since this is what I'm familiar with, and you're familiar with class, since it's the end of the semester and we'll see how much you remembered from class. We're going to use psychology. All right. Now, we wouldn't do this actually on the board. I would put psychology here and then I would have the students write on their paper for 60 seconds everything that they could think of when it comes to psychology. And we can discuss it or I can use it for review for my students and myself. With our research, we did find that the beginning of the semester, we had our introductory psychology students do this exercise, and we used the word psychology to see what kind of conceptions they had of psychology. One of the most frequent ones that we found at the beginning of the semester is the word crazy. So it was wonderful to address at the very beginning of the semester their ideas about psychology. We were immediately able to address some misconceptions, and it also got the class active and engaged with not only the instructor but also themselves to come up with some ideas of things. Not only did the nodes increase but the quality of the nodes increased. So we didn't have crazy anymore as a node re uh, relating to psychology. We had things like psychological disorders um, and then from there like bipolar and depression and schizophrenia. So we were able to instill information in our students, which was really exciting. It was also interesting then from an assessment tool as far as instructors go, comparing each of the GTAs, everyone has kind of a favorite chapter or favorite discipline in psychology. We had uh, one class that had a lot of um, brain and biology 
with their nodes with psychology. Others had more disorders. Others had things about intelligence and memory. So that was also another really good feedback tool for instructors to show, okay, wow, this is something that I do teach a lot of. This is something that's sticking with my students. What other areas do I need to work on that that information sticks as well with them? But it's super simple to run. It's super quick feedback for any instructor. It's all around wicked cool.